Hi, I'm Sarah. If you've watched my first video of my Honduras series, you'll know that I'm taking a quick break from my van build, packed my bags, boarded my flight, and landed in the heart of Central America to visit my best friend, Ana. Her mom fixed me some traditional Honduran food, we drove through the city center of San Pedro Sula, and prepared for our adventure-filled trip to Copan. And now, it's time for the weekend. Good morning from Honduras. It is the weekend and me and Ana are gonna be leaving pretty soon to go on our way to Copan Ruins for the whole weekend. Um, we're having a driver pick us up in a few minutes. So I'm gonna go grab some breakfast really quick. I'm not really sure what the first stop is. I'll just see when we get there. I know we're going to like a coffee import export place. Um, then we're gonna do Copan Ruins, the coffee and tea factory, and then a coffee farm itself. So it's about a Three hour drive, I'm hoping I won't get car sick, so that's why I'm going to eat some food right now, drink a bunch of water, and pray for the best. The last time I was here, we went to Roatan, and we took the ferry, which was about two hours. I was sick the whole time, I threw up the entire time, so I'm hoping it's not a situation like that again. Okay, we made it to one of our first stops. It is where they kind of store some of the coffee beans. I don't think it's where they export it necessarily yet, but it's called the bodega and they keep all of the coffee beans in these sacks. And they also do a bit of quality control here. They have a small little toaster. The coffee beans are a really light brown at first and then they put it in the toaster and it's rotating and toasting it at the same time. And then when it comes out, it's the brown coffee beans like you see at the store and then they do like a quality control test to make sure that batch is good and then they pack it back up and store it in the bodega again.
Okay, right now we are at El Lugar de Té y Chocolate, which means the place of tea and chocolate. We had lunch, I had a tamale and a plantano with beans in it and some hot chocolate, but it was cold chocolate, so cold chocolate, super good. I ate way too much and honestly, I don't feel the best right now. The road from the bodega to here was rough. I tried to sleep as much as possible, but it was not the smoothest ride. Um, we're staying here for a little bit. I bought some chocolate with salt and we will be going to Copan Ruins later this evening. Hello and welcome to the coffee farm house. So this isn't like a typical tourist place. We're actually staying at the owner's family's house. Anna and a couple of her friends came here to shoot some content for the farm. So they invited us to stay at their house. So that's where I am right now. We got in super late and we had some dinner and wine. The house is just surrounded by nature. There's trees, there's plants everywhere. I can hear peacocks and chickens so it feels like I'm at home with all of the chicken noises I hear. They have water fountains everywhere. It's absolutely beautiful here. So this morning we woke up at about 5 a.m. before the sun was up. We got in the trucks and we went up the mountains to where all of the coffee is planted. That was about 40 minutes of just bumps. We crossed a river. It was amazing. Um, we get to the top of the mountains. It's absolutely beautiful. There's coffee plants everywhere. They took some content there. I took some content as well. Um, back to the house we had some breakfast they're shooting some more content so I'm just hanging out taking some pictures and just relaxing right now it's such an amazing place I am so happy to be here the plan is we'll probably leave here after lunch we're gonna go back on our way to Copan ruins so this was probably about two hours away from Copan ruins we're gonna go back to the city of Copan, but on the way there are some thermal baths. So the plan is to stop and visit there and then back to Copan where it is the night of the pre-wedding. There is a white, all white party. So I have my outfit for that. And that's the plan as of today.
<laughs> Copan vibes. I don't know. I'm sorry. I don't know how to use it. <laughs>